On previous episodes, we have saw how can you use the runtime option to specify the PHP version your application runs on. Keep in mind that when you are using this kind of runtimes, you are basically choosing the pre-packaged Vapor runtimes that contain the most common needs in Laravel applications. And while this is very convenient, there is some uh, limitations associated with this kind of runtimes. One of those limitations is the fact that the application size may not exceed 250 megabytes. And that may be actually okay for some applications. Another limitation is that you may need some PHP extensions, such as Imagic, for example, that is not included in those prepackaged Vapor runtimes. Now, I just have made a deployment that I have faced one of the limitations we talked before, which is my application is greater than 250 megabytes. Now, to mitigate this issue, Vapor offers you Docker-based deployments, which you may use to build applications up to 10 gigabytes in, in size, but also to install as many as PHP extensions as you want. Now, to use Docker, first you need to ensure you have Docker in your machine. And for that, just head over to docker.com, click on Get Started, and download and install Docker for your operating system. Once you do this, uh, you also need to ensure you have a Docker file at the root of your project with the name of the environment. In this case, we want to uh, use Docker runtimes on the staging environment, so we need a staging.docker file. And the content of this file will be the PHP version you want to use, and then you may have uh, some additional instructions to Docker to install, as example, a PHP extension. Once you have those two requirements, you can start using Docker right away. And the only thing you need to do, and this will have zero downtime, is type vapor deploy staging. And in terms of deployment, nothing really changes besides the fact that we now have a new step that actually builds the container image. And remember, we no longer face the issue of having um, our application with a maximum of 250 uh, megabytes, as we now can have up to 10 gigabytes of size. Now, besides the size, we can also install now uh, PHP extensions, and that can be done on your Docker file. Now, for our test, I've actually created a new route in our web folder which contains this uh, extension loaded function from PHP. And this extension loaded function basically tells us if the extension GMP is actually installed or not. So, if we get back to our deployment, we can see that our deployment is completed and if I click on the vanity domain, I can of course see my website. And keep in mind, if you already have an application on Vapor using the pre-packaged runtimes, you can easily and quickly migrate to Docker runtimes without having any downtime whatsoever. But again, talking about the extensions, if I visit my GMP route and because I haven't installed the GMP extension, normally I should see that my GMP extension is not installed. And to address this issue and actually install, it, install the GMP extension, I can go to my Docker file and just type run and then the code you need to install the extension. Once you do this, you get back to your uh, terminal and type vapor deploy staging. Now, the big difference between this deployment and the previous deployment we just have done is that when we reach the step that we are going to build the container image, Sure enough, we are going to use um, the PHP 7.4 image, but also we should have an extra step, which is the run that we just have added to our Docker file. And that extra step will basically install the GMP extension for us. So while the deployment is being done, let's recap what we just have said in this episode, all right?
So we have said that Vapor contains a couple of pre-packaged runtimes with very nice defaults for most Laravel applications. And to use those those pre-packaged runtimes, you just need to specify the PHP version. Yet, while those pre-packaged runtimes are very convenient, you may face some limitations in terms of application size or if you need to install another PHP extension. And to mitigate this issue, you can use Docker-based uh, runtimes. In those, in those Docker-based runtimes, you can install as many as PHP extensions as you want, and we have actually created this GMP route to see if our GMP extension got fully installed here. And because our deployment is now completed, I can actually refresh the page we just saw uh, minutes ago, and we can see that um, our GMP extension is now installed in our vanity domain. All right, that's it for this episode. And on the next episode, we are going to talk about assets on Vapor and where exactly those assets are placed.